All right, people, we're back here. We're working, we're still working on this uh, cutlass bearing housing, 316 stainless steel. We got them all drilled out, rough board, semi-finished board. We're gonna finish bore it. We got it set up over here. We got a one inch boring bar projected out about five and three quarters of an inch long. The pot's five and a half inches long, so it gives us a little extra to be able to come out the back side. I got the pot spaced off the back of the chuck. I stuck a 3 16 parallel in there so I could bank up against it and slide the parallel out. That way we can bore through the part and come out the other side and not worry about cutting into the chuck. So I bought some jaws. We got some soft jaws on here that I made so that it holds the part nice and true. We could flip it around when we were roughing it down. But we're gonna bore through from one side, finish bar all the way through from this one side here. The plan changed a little bit. We're gonna leave a half thou press, but I don't think we're gonna press a half a thousandth on 316 stainless steel five and a half inches long. It's just not gonna like it, right? But I'll show you what we did to lead up to this point over here. When I bought the soft jaws, I made this little spider thing here so that I could close the master jaws down on it to simulate grabbing on the part so that it's in a clamped position. And then with this in the chuck and the jaws set at the right diameter, then I bored them out for the two and a half inch diameter stock we got there. Now ordinarily I would just throw a piece of material in there and grab it with the master jaws, but being that I wanted the jaws in a certain location, I had to open them up quite a bit. If you can see there, they're sticking out the back a little bit. I had to get those masters to open up a little bit and be at a larger diameter than the two inch bore so that I don't bump them when I go through. So this is where this guy comes into play. 3 eighths, 16 tapped holes, 120 degrees apart, three of them so that these guys can go actually up into the jaw recesses. When you back those master jaws out right there, you got a, an opening in the chuck, and that's where these guys fit. They fit right up in between, so you can clamp the master jaws down on it and simulate it being in a clamped position when you bore them, bore the soft jaws, that is. So with this guy, I put this, I put this together here, and I set these things all at about the same length. I measured with the dial caliper. Vernier cat, well no, it's a dial caliper. I measure over that, get it close. Measured over that, get it close. Measured over that, get it close. Locked down the nuts so that they stayed where I wanted to. I put it in the spindle and I indicated it so that it runs true. So that, that way I know it was running true with the spindle. And then I took a tool and I actually cut the OD so that these guys we're all the same length from the center out. See here again, I'm working with one hand here, so. So that this to the center was the same on all of them, on all three. And then I loaded that in the chuck, grabbed it with the master jaws, and then bored 1.498, excuse me, 2.498, because it was two and a half inch stock. I skim cut it down to like, 2.496. So we got a nice diameter on it right there. That way I can grab on them. I can take them out, put them back in, take them out, put them back in, and they repeat pretty good. So we're gonna finish bore that now. Got that, like I said, one inch boring bar here, all set up. And in order to measure that, I got a dial bore gauge. So I got my dial bore gauge here. I'm gonna use this to measure See how close we're getting. But I also have gauge pins. So I have my gauge pins here. I put a handle on it. That's a 1.997 gauge pin. She fits. She goes all the way in. So that way we know we're pretty we're getting pretty close to where we want to be. 1.997. And I took a 1.998 gauge pin. I had one of those too. Put it on this makeshift handle here. So here we can size the hole. See how close we're getting. I don't have bore mics. So this guy goes, but it don't go all the way in and I don't want to force it and get it stuck. Kind of like the drill. 
So we know we're about 1.998. And when I check it with the dial bore gauge, that responds pretty close. And we check the dial bore gauge, we put our little standards in there based on the diameter that we're using with the shims and everything else. And I don't have a two inch ring gauge. So I take two inch gauge blocks, two, two, two inch gauge blocks and put them in my Herman Schmidt grinding vise. And then I can put this in there and use that as a standard to check my zero and make sure that I'm at two inches. And then I use my micrometer as well, just for a double check. We check it same way in there, TT, check it two inches, set it at two inches, check it, make sure we zero out. It's pretty close. I mean, it's only half thou resolution, so how close can I get really, you know? I don't have bore mics, so. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna take a finished pass on here. Run, start, spindle on. 316 stainless steel, two inch bore. I don't know what the surface vintage is. I'm not gonna do the math. But we're running at 340 RPMs. Finish is looking good. She's not squealing like a pig. We're not getting chatter. So we're gonna run, put a little dab of dua oil in here. A little oil in the bore. Lubrication is nice. A little on the tool. We're gonna let this baby take a finished pass. Go. So you won't be able to see it. It's gonna vanish into that deep bore right there at some point in time. I don't want to get too close. These little stringy chips coming out, they're like razor ribbons. So we'll just back this up here. Stay a safe distance away. That's moving three inches a minute. You could probably go a little faster, but I pussyfoot and take it easy on things. Take it easy on things. Tools last longer. Less potential for catastrophe. But your shop rate takes a hit. My shop rate would really take a hit if I scrapped the part, so. Don't want to go there. It's kind of boring, right? Oh, look at that. I made a funny. I'm boring the part, but it's actually kind of boring to watch. My comedy's about as good as my machining. Just joking there. My machining's probably a little better than my comedy. Hopefully. All right, so that's just about done. That's why we leave a little bit of extra. Boom, backs away, comes out. All right, that's it. Now we gotta check it. I gotta use the bore mic to check it, so I need two hands. So Titan Machine Tool is gonna sign off for now. 316 stainless steel housing for a cutlass bearing marine application. Here we go, signing off.